Hi everyone, welcome to TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi Kit Setup and Installation Guide. So if you're unfamiliar with the TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi Kit, how it works and how to set it up in your home, please watch this video. It includes a basic introduction of the TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi Kit, as well as how to install and set it up in your home. So, a basic introduction of the TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi Kit. The TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi Kit includes both wired and wireless network expansion devices. In this example, we're going to use the TL-WPA9610 kit, which includes a Powerline adapter on the left and a Powerline extender on the right. You can distinguish between both by the product label on the device. Normally, a Powerline Wi-Fi Kit works by connecting a Powerline adapter to the router via Ethernet cable, then plugging it into a wall. A Powerline extender is then plugged into another wall, receiving the adapter's network signal through the home's electrical wiring, as you can see in this picture here. On the Powerline extender, you'll notice some LEDs that indicate the extender's working status. The power LED is solid green when the extender is on and off when the extender is off. It's flashing when pairing is in progress. The power line LED is solid yellow-green when the extender is connected to the power line network from a suitable location. It's red when it is experiencing poor signal strength, so try plugging it into another wall socket. And it is off when the extender is not connected to the power line network. The Ethernet LED is solid green when the LAN port is connected to a device that is powered on. It is off when the LAN port is not connected to a device that is powered on. The wireless 2.4 GHz with the narrow signal icon and the wireless 5 GHz wide signal icon LEDs are solid when wireless is enabled, off when wireless is disabled. They are flashing slowly when the extender is cloning wireless network settings from the main router and they're flashing quickly when the extender is syncing wireless network settings from an existing Powerline extender. The Powerline extender and adapter also include buttons. Press and hold the pair button for one second to join a Powerline network. Press and hold the LED button for one second to turn all LEDs on or off. All LEDs are on by default. Press and hold the Wi-Fi button for one second to copy wireless settings from the main router to the extender, but please note that this requires your router to have a WPS button. Press and hold for at least five seconds to turn the wireless function on or off. Now, while powered on, press and hold the reset button with a paperclip or pin for at least five seconds to reset the Powerline extender to factory default settings. How to install and set up your TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi kit. So we're gonna pair the adapter and extender, then connect the adapter and router, and then relocate the extender. Those are the three main steps. When setting up your Powerline Wi-Fi kit for the first time, it's recommended to plug your Powerline devices into wall sockets in the same room. This will help to avoid electrical interference during setup. While the devices boot up, press and hold the pair button of the Powerline adapter for one second, and within two minutes, press and hold the pair button of the Powerline extender for one second as well. The power LEDs of the adapter and extender will begin to blink. When the Powerline LEDs are solid yellow-green, that's it. The pairing process is done. And once paired, plug the Powerline adapter into a wall socket near your router so you can connect the two via Ethernet cable. Make sure you plug one end of the cable to the router's port labeled Ethernet or LAN. Find the default Wi-Fi SSID and password on the extender's product label, as well as the Wi-Fi info card that came with the product packaging. Then move the Powerline extender wherever you need it in the same circuit. Connect your device, in this example we use a smartphone, to the extender's Wi-Fi network using the SSID and password.
If you want to copy your main router's wireless network or make a new custom wireless network, please refer to our next video, how to configure the TP-Link Powerline extender to your Wi-Fi network. We hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again.